Simone Ariane Biles is an artistic gymnast from the United States. Biles is the most decorated American gymnast with a total of 30 Olympic and World Championship medals and is widely regarded as one of the finest and most dominant female gymnasts of all time. She is the 10th female gymnast and the first American female gymnast to win a world medal on every event and the first female gymnast to win a medal on every event at a single Olympic Games or World Championships since Daniela Silivas in 1988, having accomplished this feat at the 2018 World Championships in Doha. In today's video, we will delve into everything you need to know about Simone Biles and her return to the Tokyo Olympics after her sudden exit following her battle with mental health issues. Along with this, we will also delve into other relevant Olympic gymnasts' news surrounding Simone Biles' reasoning regarding her earlier departure from the Olympics. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Simone Biles to return to Tokyo Olympics competition on the balance beam. Simone Biles will compete in the final on the balance beam on Tuesday, making a high-stakes comeback a week after withdrawing from the competition because she didn't feel mentally prepared to compete safely. Biles, widely regarded as the finest gymnast the sport has ever seen, has revealed that she has been battling a mental health problem known as the twisties inside the sport. The gymnast shared a statement to her Instagram explaining her situation. The statement reads as follows, Literally cannot tell up from down. It's the craziest feeling ever, not having an inch of control over your body. What's even scarier is since I have no idea where I am in the air, I also have no idea how I'm going to land or what I'm going to land on. Head, hands, feet, back. I also have no idea how I landed on my feet in that vault because if you look at the pictures and my eyes, you can see how confused I am as to where I am in the air. Thankfully, I landed safe enough, but I also don't think some of you realize I was supposed to do a two and a half and I only competed a one and a half twists before it looks like I got shot out of the air. This isn't the first time Biles has had to deal with the issue. She did say, though, that the problems accompanied her to both the uneven bars and the balance beam. Previous encounters with the phenomenon were limited to the floor and vault exercises, which demand more twisting aspects. For Biles, finishing her second Olympics and possibly her career on the balance beam is poetic justice. The 24-year-old gymnast, largely regarded as the best of all time, has not competed since withdrawing from the team final last Tuesday due to a weak vault. In the days afterwards, she withdrew from four more finals. The balancing beam final is her final chance to compete in the Tokyo Olympics and win an individual medal of any color. We are so pleased to confirm that you will see two U.S. athletes in the balance beam final tomorrow, Suni Lee and Simone Biles, USA Gymnastics wrote on Twitter. Her unexpected decision has now added another plot twist to one of the game's most remarkable dramas. Biles had been training consistently since her withdrawal to explore what she could be capable of according to her and American officials. Biles' dismount, which generally focuses on twisting, is expected to be modified according to sources close to her. After her Monday workout, Biles and her trainers Cecile and Laura Landy were confident that she could compete safely. When she arrived in Japan, Biles was regarded as the greatest gymnast of all time and the undisputed face of the U.S. Olympic movement. Despite opting out of many finals, she continued to practice and be evaluated daily by the USA Gymnastics staff. She's also been a regular in the audience, cheering on Suni Lee, Michaela Skinner, and Jade Carey as they participated in the event finals. Around the last week, athletes from all over the world have rallied around her, praising her courage for speaking out about the significance of mental health. Simone Biles opens up about twisties and her mental health. Simone Biles is almost always on time for her Amanar vault. There have been occasions when she has peeled off during uneven bar routines, when her landings on the floor have included canyon-sized steps, and when she has tried to cut the balancing beam in half with a saw. But as risky and difficult as it is, the Amanar has always been one of her most reliable abilities. So it was evident something was amiss when she completely lost her way in the middle of the two and a half twists during the women's team final at the Tokyo Games. Biles admitted to having twisties during a late-night news conference on Tuesday. Twisties is a term for a mental block in which gymnasts lose spatial awareness when performing complex abilities. For gymnasts, it is a well-known, horrifying, and hazardous sensation. So what are the twisties? It's a term that immediately ignited debate among gymnasts, who recognized how perilous the situation must have been. However, it is a term that is unfamiliar to the rest of the globe. The twisties have been described by gymnasts as a mental obstacle, a sudden mental block such as the yips in golf can cost you a putt or a game in 
several sports. In gymnastics, it can cause a person to lose their sense of space and dimension while in the air, causing them to lose control of their body and perform unintentional twists or flips. In the worst case scenario, they may find themselves unable to safely land. On Tuesday, Biles, one of the sport's finest competitors, appeared disoriented while attempting a vault and fell as she landed. It was a moment that struck a chord with many who suspected she was going through something. Claudia Fragapane, a British gymnast who competed in the 2016 Rio Olympics, experienced the twisties. She fell in the qualification stages on the uneven bars and balancing beam, and then in April of this year she fell again because of a mental block, sustained a head injury, and missed the cut for the individual all-around final in Tokyo. I understand precisely how Simone was feeling, she told the BBC. She has got a lot of weight on her shoulders. Everyone thinks that she is just going to be absolutely out of this world and perfect, and she's not human. But actually, she is human, and I think the pressure just got too much. It's really dangerous if you doubt yourself a little bit, or you find it really hard. You can really, really hurt yourself. I've been in her shoes, and I ended up hurting myself. Ragapane said she was extremely up and down with her moods as Olympic qualification loomed in April, knowing it could be her only chance to compete in the Olympics. Along with Fragapane, Aliyah Finnegan, a member of the USA national gymnastics team, was prompted to comment on the topic on Twitter. I've had the twisty since I was 11, she wrote. I cannot imagine the fear of having it happen to you during competition. They have very limited equipment and mats in Tokyo to help something like this get fixed, let alone within a day. You have absolutely no control over your body and what it does. Gymnastics is mostly a mental sport, and where it varies from many others is that if gymnasts are not in the appropriate state of mind to perform their dangerous skills, they will not just run slower or hit a ball into a fence. Each sophisticated talent carries the risk of a terrible injury, which they are acutely aware of every day. Biles is protecting herself physically and mentally by maintaining her mental health. The twisties happen when your brain and body disengage, according to Christina Myers, a former gymnast and now a gymnastics coach from Birmingham, Alabama, who told BBC News that the twisties happen when your brain and body separate. She explained, Imagine skydiving and your parachute won't open, she said. Your body starts adding extra twists and flips to the skill you're supposed to be doing, and it can affect even the skills that feel as routine as walking to an elite gymnast. Your brain wants nothing more than to perform the intended skill correctly, but your body feels like it suddenly has a mind of its own. Catherine Burns, an ex-gymnast, likened it to being on the highway and suddenly forgetting your muscle memory of how to drive. You're moving way too fast, you're totally lost, you're trying to think but you know you don't usually have to think to do these maneuvers, you just feel them and do them," she tweeted. It's not only scary and unnerving, it's incredibly dangerous even if you're doing basic gymnastics. So you can see, this phenomenon has happened to plenty of elite Olympic gymnasts where they suddenly have a strong mental block that inhibits them from performing their best along with being incredibly dangerous, especially if you miss or don't land a difficult move. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Simone Biles and her return to the Olympics on the balance beam, along with other details surrounding her mental health and her suffering from the twisties. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.